Hey, what's up you guys? So today I wanted to play some mini clip video games. Now, for those of you that don't know what Miniclip is, it's like this old website I used to go to when I was a kid, and it was a lot of fun for him. For him. And from what I remember, it was a lot of fun to play like little flash games and stuff, you know, back when I didn't really have so many video games. So I just wanted to see if it still holds up to today. All right, so this first video game is called Stan Skates. Uh, from what I remember, it was just like a regular skating game featuring some kid or, or man or something. So let's try it out. I think all you have to do is jump, actually. Okay. Oh, look, you get a point for just jumping. I think this is actually, like, all you do in the game. Um, I don't think it has anything else to do. That was actually really close. <laughs> Just listen to that soundtrack, of course, too. I mean... It's weird because when I was a kid, I remember I used to like this kind of song. Um, maybe it gets better or something? But yeah, like I said, like, you know, these games, they were like a lot of fun, you know, when you were a kid and you didn't really have other video games to play. Uh, especially because at the time, you know, like the PlayStation 2 and all that was kind of pricey and, you know, games for it were kind of pricey as well. Um, so playing these kind of games really does, like, bring back, like, childhood memories and stuff, you know, being, like, on my old computer. And that's something, too, is that these games, you didn't really need, like, the best internet... Oh, crap. The fun part about this game is that you didn't really need, like, the best internet service because, you know, these games, like, they would work, like, no matter what. Like, you could have, like, the, you know, crappiest computer and they would still, like, run. At least, I think they would. So I guess that's all you do. Just, just jump and, uh... Avoid and try not to crash into things. Great. I just want to see if I get a power up and see what it does. Uh, oh look! What the okay, that was pretty cheap. There was no way that I could have like overdone that. Oh look, kickflip. I mean, if you can do kickflips like that, you know that's pretty cool. Okay, on to the next game. Okay, so this game is called Cable Cappers 2. Um, from what I remember, it's kind of like a Super Mario clone, but I could be wrong. Like a little dinosaur alligator people. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's... <laughs> really, I mean, that has to be like the yell. It kind of sounds like Homer Simpson or something, and they just like sped it up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Okay, maybe I don't need to kill them. Okay, that was just cheap. All right. I mean, you're obviously going to hit that on your first try. Uh, actually, I think I only have, like, a few of, like, those things to throw. Mm, okay, so maybe I got to save them. I guess I get more later. Oh, man. Do I, do I need those pipes? Um, maybe I don't need them. I think they're just, like, collectibles. Okay, we're getting pretty far, getting pretty far. Okay. Um, it shouldn't have to be this hard, okay? Oh. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh. Yeah, okay, all right. Again, another cheap shot. Like, you're going to have to know ahead of time that it does that, you know? Okay, so if we enter like that... You know, sometimes, like, they have, like, cheap tricks like that. Like, you have to really, like, get good at the game, you know what I mean? Okay. Oh, I guess it stopped. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's no way to get out of there at the bottom if you make it there, so... Oh, okay. Alright, just throw me in, I guess. It's really hard to say, but I have to keep pressing the jump button so that thing can go up. But sometimes the jump button is responding very odd. Okay. Ah, oh, what the? Okay. okay. I was already like, oh man, it's going to take me to my death. Duh. Okay, let's try that again. Ah, oh, great. I only have one more life. 
I wonder if there's anybody that's actually did like a walkthrough of these games, you know? Uh, maybe I'll do a walkthrough sometime. I don't know. I mean, if I... I mean, it's actually kind of fun. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll try it. On to the next game. Okay, so this next game is called Panic in Chocoland. 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 Uh, okay. How? Oh, I like how it just says how. Oh no, the evil red guy has taken over the Chocoland factory and has planted bombs on each of the floors. Our hero Panic has found a way into the lowest level of the factory and now has to work his way up through all the floors collecting the bombs. Why, why would you want to collect the bombs? I mean, you're supposed to get rid of them. Don't collect them. I mean, unless he's going to collect them to get rid of them, but even then, that's kind of like dangerous, dude, you know? All the bombs on each level have been set using a timer. If a prank... What? Oh, if Panic loses all his lives, uh, or if time runs out, the whole factory will explode. Uh, Evil Red Guy has left various lesser bad guys. Oh, okay, so not that good bad guy. So I guess Evil Red Guy is like the main bad guy, and everybody else is lesser than him. Okay, all right. Uh, guarding his bombs. Run into any of these or any of the other factory hazards, and Panic will lose a valuable life. Who? Like his mom or something? I mean, like, what the, What does that mean? We'll lose a valuable life. I don't know. Maybe his mom's in this game. Uh, to run, fly left or right. Press the left or right cursor keys. To make him jump, press the space bar. The longer you press the space, the higher he will jump. Okay. All right. Seems simple enough. I mean, I like the music, you know. Oh, okay. So don't press the space bar too high because he will fly. Look, look. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. So this guy can really jump, okay? This guy gives, like, Mario a run for his money. Um, it could be his, like, little ears. I uh, forget about those lesser bad guys. And, uh, what's going on with the background? Uh, it's like some dude with a pipe and a gun and a heart and a cheeseburger. Just like America. Oh, level complete. Okay, yeah. Alright, we got this. We got this. Okay, be careful of the Tonka trucks with clamps. So... Oh, okay, so I hit electricity. Okay, so that kills you, but... I mean, electricity's not a bad guy. Right? Okay, collecting all the balloons. Or, oh, I'm sorry, they're bombs. My bad. You know, bombs in this game are orange. I guess the, uh, you know, that's just how they're signified as. Be careful with the Tonka truck. Of death. I just at least want to make it to level 3. Okay, you know, what kind of factory is this, first of all? Um, is this even a factory that I want to save? Because this factory has, like, you know, hazards all over. I like how they put, like, a little halo when he dies, you know what I mean? Like, look. Signifying, like... Came back from heaven to save the factory. Uh, on to the next game. Okay, so this game is called uh, Bubble Trouble. And it has a pretty cool uh, intro. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, now this game I do remember playing. I used to play it all the time as a kid. It was a lot of fun. Uh, me and my friends used to see who can do like better than the other. And there's a two player option, but. I don't think it's worth it. I like that gun sound. It kind of looks like a, you know, a uh, water gun or something. What happened to his head? Okay, here we go. So, the trick to it is you need to walk left or right when you shoot your little uh, hookshot thing. And, uh, hmm, I think that's it. And just try to pop the bubbles. Oh, yeah, and I remember this green one. It's kind of like a bar wire. Uh, let's see if I can do it. And it stays there. That's pretty cool. Oh, great. The money went away. Hmm. Okay, get ready. Gotcha. Do I do a combo? Uh, oh, I did it! Okay. Get the barbed wire. Yeah, uh, dying in this game is possible. Um, you don't want to do it. Great. So just keep popping them, and, uh, 
Let's see. Okay. I really don't know what was, like, the level I made it to as a kid. Um, I don't think I ever got that far. I think it was, like, this level that I only, like, made it to. So if I can beat this now, that'd be pretty cool. So I only have three more lives. Uh, if you didn't know, the lives are signified by the fire, the flames at the bottom. Okay, more time. That's always good. Ugh, are you serious? Okay. Please, if I can just beat this level, that'd be awesome. Oh yeah, and something too is that a lot of these games lack music, so... Yeah, I might need to put music in the background just to, you know... I just want to beat this level. <sighs> On to the next game. Okay, so this next game, I really remember it. Um, this game is called Little Rocket Man. And uh, something I loved about this game was the intro. Look, you got to hear it. You got to hear it. Isn't that such like a cool intro? Like, and uh, man, this really does bring back memories. Like, honestly, guys, like this is like, like childhood for me. Like, I used to play this game so much when I was like maybe like in fifth or sixth grade, maybe around there. And I remember I, w I would just stare at the screen, um, just listening to the song, and just thinking about life, you know. <laughs> but yeah, this game brings back so many memories and. Uh, Something sad too is I don't think this game actually was ever finished. I think that, um, I, I think you can only pass the first level and then it gives you the option to get the full version. And I remember as a kid, I would always look up like, where can I get the full version or where can I buy it? And there was just no way. I mean, even till now, uh, I don't think there's ever been like, it's just a game that was just never finished. If, uh, if a video game critic or somebody were to make like a, you know, like a background history on this game, that'd be pretty cool. I would totally watch that. Oh, and something else too is I remember looking up a playthrough of this game a while back. And uh, it turns out that some song by Dead Mouse, uh, I think it was called like Astral something. Um, it's actually like people claim that it could be, um, you know, based off this song. You know, like maybe he, maybe Dead Mouse heard it and thought it was a cool song, and maybe he just like later was like, you know what, I remember this cool beat. I'm gonna, you know, write into a cool song. So yeah, you know, no copyright there. All right, so let's play this game. Instructions. Yeah, take aim and, you know, just, uh, guide your little rocket man. Okay. Oh, man, guys, you don't even know how much I love this song. Like, I'm just so into the song. Like, this is the game for me. <laughs> okay. After Rocket Man is launched, okay. One day, Rocket Man and his girlfriend were sitting and talking. They were in love. They couldn't stop thinking about each other. Aww. All of a sudden, a jealous evil robot snatches Rocket Man's girlfriend and flies off. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that's not cool, man. Okay, toys and. Okay. Little Rocket Man leaps through the air for his girlfriend. He must jump airplane to airplane to get to the door with not a second to spare. Okay. Yeah, that song kind of sounds like Dead Mouse, too, you know? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Oh. Yeah, okay, it's, uh, it's kind of a hard game, so uh, bear with me here. Hmm. Right there. Oh, nice. Hmm. Oh, I want to get the flowers. Okay, uh... Wait a second. Am I supposed to avoid the space fireball thing? Because I have like a bar up there that like could be filled up. Let's see. Uh, never mind. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Let's see. I mean, it's not gonna hurt me or anything, is it? Uh, are you serious? We'll get it next time. Oh. Nice. I can't believe I did that. This game is so much fun, and it's fun just the way I remember it, so, um, on to the next game! Okay, so the last game that we're gonna play for this video is called Redbeard on Gold Hunt. Redbeard on Gold Hunt.
Okay, let's see if I remember what to do. Okay, don't stay in the water too long. Oh, I guess you just got to get the gold little things, the gold little balls. Okay, you get the red one, and it makes the red pillar start moving. Okay. Oh. I like how it just, like, automatically goes to the next level. Like, no low times or nothing. But, yeah, a lot of these Flash games are like that. You know, you didn't really, like, need low times. <laughs> low times. <laughs> Let's see. We can do this. We got this. Just get the gold ball. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, like I said, a lot of these games, like, lack music. So, you know, you just got to, like, deal with it. I think a perfect song to go with this game would actually be Gangplank Galleon from Donkey Kong. Oh man, okay. Uh oh. Oh okay. I didn't die. Alright. Uh okay. Purple. One of my favorite colors. And gold, okay. Okay, get the blue ball. What happens if I drown? Oh, what? Okay, this doesn't kill me, but whatever. Oh, are you... <sighs> okay, that was pretty cheap. Um... Okay. Duh. Are you serious? Okay, we got this. We got this this time. We got this. Alright. So, I'm gonna jump and get the purple. And I need to look at that. Okay. And you need to do it right now. Okay, I got it. Okay, get the two red. Wait, why is this little pirate in a bubble anyway? I mean, that just hit me. Why is he in a bubble? Why can't he just hold the balls in his hands? Don't think wrong with that. Um, maybe the bubble is magic? He's a magic pirate with a bubble. It's funny because like, this little guy actually looks like a friend of mine. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, are you serious? Oh. Ooh, spikes. The water. Ah, oh, that's it. Well, I guess I get to see what happens if he dies. Oh, his bubble pops. Wait, so it is a bubble. Let's see. Okay. Uh, red pillars. Oh, and I reached the goal. Again. Well, all right, guys. So those are some mini clip games that uh, I remember playing as a kid, and they were still pretty fun. Uh, very tedious, but uh, still kind of fun. You know, to play I can totally see myself playing these when I'm bored or something but anyway be sure to like subscribe for more videos and I'll be sure to do some more mini clip as well so yeah thanks guys I'll see you in the next video